What's going on YouTube? As you can check, I finally got the first cut like I said in yesterday's vlog I would do. I'm feeling really clean, feeling like a brand new man, but in today's video I'll be doing a top 5, well not top 5, that I got confused with my other video, but I'm going to be doing a world's prediction and talking a little bit about, you know, a pre-vlog about the event, kind of talking about my team, about TK, Team Caliber, how our practice has been going and all that stuff. Gonna go in depth. So a lot of you guys know our pool consists of Optic, XGN, Infused, and us plus the open bracket team, which I have no idea who's gonna be. And our team, our pool is pretty much, you know, the two strongest team is us and Optic, obviously. You never wanna count out Infuse. You know, you think Infuse is a pretty good team. I don't think they have the same squad, but we played them at Gfinity last, like two months ago, and I think we lost to them, so did TK. So uh, even though they have a different squad, you never wanna count out, count out European teams anymore. Like, this late in the game, and especially the way they've been playing, I feel like, they've been they've just evolved like european players teams are getting so much better it's insane uh, i don't know if it has a lot to be from moving to america or they're watching or they're going harder or they're studying more like in, they're studying the game more watching other pro players but you know they've been getting a lot better uh that's a good thing for the scene and everything so with that being said um i believe xgn and infuse are both going to be sleeper teams uh, we play XGN first for our first match of the tournament. That's going to be a huge match. We played them in a 10k the other day. We lost 2-1. It was really unfortunate. We just choked. But obviously, you never want to count them out. You know, this team, I think, this late in the game, any team is beatable. Any team could be any team, right? Uh, I'm not saying any team could win an event, but I think any team could be any team at the right time, at the right moment, depending if they're hot, they're not hot. You're like, there's so many factors involved in that, but I don't want to go there right now. So, with that being said, uh, I really want to be Optic. They've I played them twice in the last like two, three events. I played them twice, lost both times. I didn't play too well. Uh, you know, losing is learning, teaching is winning. Wait, that that I, I said that right? I just didn't say winning is teaching. I said teaching is winning. But with that being said, you know, I lost to them. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from my mistakes. I learned what I need to get better at. I learned, you know, how to kind of beat them. I studied them a little more. And the more I lost it on, the more I realized the mistakes I was doing. So hopefully within the, you know, next tournament, when we play them at Worlds, you know, hopefully I could go off, I could play my game, just be confident within myself, and just focus 110%, give it, give it my all, and understand that I'm tired of losing to, to Optic, I'm tired of losing in general, and I just want it, man. I just want to win. So I'm going to try my best to get that first seed in the pool, but if things go wrong, definitely gonna aim for second no no less than that I'm getting the first in my pool or second if I get no it's not it's not even an option it's not gonna be option first or second for me and XGN like I said we play dumb then we play infuse and after we play infuse we play optic so the good the good thing is we play the other two teams before playing the best team so like let's say we won our both matches we'll have a lot of confidence going into optic match on top of that we'll have a lot of breathing space because we know like if let's say we beat both of them we're, we're up to on our pool you know it's a huge thing we just have to be optic and we're pretty much guaranteed first in our pool if somehow we lose to them we just have to be the open team we're guaranteed second in our pool so that's gonna be the plan for the guys for pool b it's phase optic nation iso and vitality honestly i think phase is going to take that pool it's a no-brainer uh, I feel like Optic Nation is didn't get third or fourth. I do think, obviously, man, they're a good team. I hate to like push teams down like that, but you know, ISO has been playing extremely well all game. They're very talented, very talented squad, especially in respawn. You got ISO and they got Vitality, which we scrimmed the other day. They were playing, they were looking amazing. Um, it's gonna come down to Optic Nation beating Vitality and ISO, and I feel I see that like I can see it happening, but it's not gonna be an easy task at all. Just like us beating Optic. Like, I can see it happening, but it's not going to be an easy test. So, if Optic Nation could get a win off of either ISO or Vitality and then feel confident going to the next match and just with all that chemistry and teamwork somehow pull off another win, you know, they, they can make it out second in their pool. But I think either ISO or Vitality is going to take second and FaZe is going to take first. For Pool C, you got Epsilon, Denial, Millennium, and Rise. This is like kind of like a no-brainer as well, but it's a little difficult. Denial and Epsilon, I think it's going to be a tie, like head-to-head, -head, who's going to take first, I don't know. Depending who's on fire, who's been playing better, who's been practicing more. Uh, with the new squad, Epsilon picked up Aqua, and then Denial picked up Classic. So they both have two new players. This is going to all depend on who's playing better that day. You know, who's been practicing more, who's been practicing, and who's been putting the time to, like, get better as a team. So depending on that, 
you know, I believe one of those are going to take first, the other team is going to take second. And then Rise and Millennium, I can see Rise somehow upsetting either Epsilon or Denial. Maybe Denial, I don't know about Epsilon. Uh, Epsilon should have won or got second at season three, at season three playoffs, season three. That team played cr incredible, incredible. They should have been off again face. They should have been in grand finals 100%. They just choked really, really bad. But other than that, like even though they did change a player, um, I definitely see one of those, those two getting either first or second. And then Rise might get third in Millennium. I have no idea who they are. I know they're a, a European team. I have no idea who's on that roster, so I can't say. But yeah, either the now or Epsilon first, second. Pool D, we're gonna have Elevate, Envy, Orbit, and Citadel. Uh, these team is kind of like the same as Pool C. I think either Elevate or Envy are going to take first, second, unless somehow Orbit uh, does an upset. I don't know who's on Citadel once again, so I can't tell you what I believe in that. But it's it's really hard, man. Elevate, you know, with a new addition with Octane and replace the Classic, which is more of an AR player, I think they might be a little better. But like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I haven't been watching Elevate or Envy Scrim. You know, I haven't had time. I've just been watching either Optic or Phase or anyone else. So I can't tell you, I can't tell you guys, in my opinion, who's going to get first. I can only tell you, you know, either first or second. What are those two, depending on who's hot, who's been practicing more, because I haven't been watching, who's been playing better, is going to take first, second, Orbit. Unless somehow they pull an upset, they could take second, at least second in a pool. I don't see them getting first. Sorry, guys. So yeah, guys, that's it for my prediction for the pools. Uh, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about our squad before I go. We've been playing a lot, we've been practicing, we've been putting the time, we've been fixing our mistakes, but once you fix mistakes, you realize that there's more mistakes. And once you fix those mistakes, little mistakes start popping up. So it hasn't been easy, you know, it's been stressful, it's been a stressful ass three weeks. Yes, a stressful ass three weeks. We've been putting so much time, we've been putting, putting pretty much a lot of effort and trying to fix every mistake. After every map we lose, you know, on stream, so people are like, you guys just have to chill, stop arguing, just worry about next map. But a lot of you guys don't understand that we're not arguing. Like we kind of are, but it's we're, we're conversating. We're we're having a debate. We're like we're we're trying to fix fix our mistakes. Like it's not even arguing. Like we're being really aggressive. We're we're like we want to kill each other. It's arguing. Like trying to figure out what's wrong. You know, it's it's what you have to do to get better. You know, you're never gonna find out your mistakes. You're never gonna improve if you don't know what's wrong in the first place. So after every map, you know, as as, as players, we we're really observant. We see what we did wrong, and then we try to fix it. We we tell each other, you know, okay, I saw you did this wrong. Uh, we need to do this more. You didn't do this. You guys start doing that, and it slowly improves the team because individually, like, we start doing what's right. And when everyone's doing what's right, it all combines to like perfection. And when you have perfection, when you play the game perfect. You know, you're bound to win the map, you're bound to win a match. So that's something we've been doing a lot, putting a lot of time in the squad, putting on a lot of time in the team. We obviously want to all win, we all have to drive. And we've been putting a lot of time for Worlds. Unfortunately, we've been only teaming for three weeks, at least they've been the team of three for a while. So that's good, they have some chemistry there. I just joined about three weeks ago. But, you know, these three weeks have been a lot of work. We have a uh, final day today of practice. And I'm just looking forward to the practicing today, hopefully fixing the little mistakes we have left almost to perfection i know going to the event we're gonna have maybe a little bit of mistakes left but not nothing big anymore like we're gonna we have most of the things fixed already which is a really 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 good thing so yeah guys i'm feeling really confident with the squad tk all day you know we're feeling good we're feeling like the practice has been worth it i'm pretty sure they've been enjoying me on the team i've been enjoying them as well uh i think they're all really good talented players i just hope on land like we we just play way better i know i struggle online sometimes i know sharp struggles online sometimes uh, Nezzo and Dylan almost host every time they're in a team house, so it's like it's a little easier for them. But I think when we go on land, we're just gonna hit that 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 spark is just gonna ignite, and we're gonna start going off and playing our game. You know, we're just gonna we're gonna surprise a lot of people, in my opinion. Like I'm not. If if people want us to be the sleeper team, we'll be the sleeper team. But we're surprising a lot of people. Ain't nobody stopping me. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little pre-vlog. Before leaving to New Orleans, I'm actually driving there. It's gonna be like a 14-hour drive. My God. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll be driving with my friend and Maria, so at least we can divide some hours and it won't be as hell. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like always, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate every support on every video. You know, leaving a like, commenting down below, whatever you think. Also, if you want to comment down below which teams, which team is gonna win their pool, you can go ahead and do that as well. You guys have been awesome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.